You know, I think you should slow your roll there a bit. I mean, you had me tied up here while you droned on and on about your nemesis. Like, why are you so obsessed with him? Like, I know you're supposed to be obsessed with him, but... I mean, he's your nemesis. But why are you, I don't know, actually obsessed? I don't get it. What am I talking about? <laughs> Listen, you spent like five minutes just talking about him. Talking about his perfect locks or however you put it. Five minutes about his hair. Oh no, don't try to say that had anything to do with how much you despise him. What do I look like, some kind of idiot? Oh, oh, you do despise him, do you? <laughs> and that is why you spent so long talking about his hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying it. Because you spent like 20 minutes talking about how guilty you feel about that time you made that ray gun and everyone turned against him. I mean, if you really hated someone that much, would you really feel guilty about getting some random citizens to do your dirty work for you? Oh, if you don't keep your mouth shut, I'll make sure you can never speak again. Oh, oh. <laughs> and after I was so nice to listen to your extremely long and boring and long spiel about your nemesis, oh, you wound me. <laughs> oh, so now I am annoying you. Well, then maybe you should just let me go about my day in peace. Maybe you can do something else with your time while you're at it. You know, instead of taking people off the street and keeping them tied to a chair while you vent about your feelings. What? How long has it been? I don't know. I think maybe two hours. But why do you ask? Oh my god. He normally gets onto the scene within 15 minutes. I mean, I didn't realize you counted the minutes like that. Kind of just proves the whole, you know, obsessed thing. Whoa, you do not need to get in my face like that. Haven't you heard of personal space? Listen. You can repeat it as many times as you want, but you cannot fool me. You're obsessed on a whole nother level. Compared to any other villain, it's, there's no comparison. And that is just counting the very, very public affair of Miss Spectre in Electric. I mean... I'm not sure if you've ever seen the video footage of those two, but even without the sound, you can tell they're just hardcore flirting. Ugh. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Did you just say that is what you want? You. The villain who commanded an army of literal pest to destroy the city didn't you have to get pest control when you got irritated that a bunch of roaches were hiding away in your pantry instead of doing your bidding <laughs> oh i will keep reminding you about your past failures all right i've spent long enough listening to you talk about your your Precious nemesis, that. <laughs> okay. 
Look me in the eye and tell me that you do not fantasize about him. You can't, can you? I don't even need to be able to read your mind now. It's written all over your face. That's good. You're letting it out. So what was the point of all this anyway? Like, what did you expect to accomplish with all of this? That you'd just be able to, what, sweep him off his feet with all of this? I mean, you did take a hostage. I, I think that would be more confusing than anything. I mean, if you had a secret you really wanted to tell him, wouldn't it have made more sense to write a letter or schedule a meeting or something? You know, as opposed to this? Besides, didn't you say that your nemesis normally shows up, like, really quickly? So, isn't it a little strange that he didn't show up for so long? And since that's the case, is there even still a reason to keep me here? Because I hate to break it to you, but I don't think th that he is going to be headed over here anytime soon. Maybe he's gotten himself tied up with something. I mean, I know that your nemesis is and all, but you aren't the only criminal in the city. Just like any other big city, we've got a lot of petty crime here. How exactly were you going to keep him here once he showed up anyway? The rope. The rope. Really? Nothing special and extravagant or whatever? I don't think giving someone rope burn is the best way to tell him that you have feelings for him. I mean, I guess it could get in his... Well... It caught my attention in a different way. <laughs> I mean... You've even started giving me ideas since you've had me restrained here for so long. If I didn't know any better, I think that you really, really enjoyed stuff like this. Your whole shtick is control, after all. I mean, what, with your compulsion, persuasion, your weird... What is it? Marion, Mar marionette? I don't know. Those things you call your minions. <laughs> Finally! I thought you would never let me out of these ropes. Leave? You sure you want me to leave? Because I, I won't lie to you. I kind of thought we had something for a moment there. Fine. I will leave, but do not expect to be seeing that nemesis of yours again once I do. <laughs> you know, for a person who works so much with the mind, I'm really surprised you haven't figured it out yet. <gasps> oh, I see that little light bulb. <laughs> You're finally catching on. You're the reason your nemesis didn't show up. Because you've already caught him. <laughs> it was me. What? You look surprised. I figured you would be. But I mean, it is kind of funny, you know. Out of all the random civilians you could have taken off the streets... You took me. Oh, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you by not saying anything. But you were really in the zone there. <sighs> what can I say? It was nice seeing a cute girl like you all excited for once. 
<laughs> you know, instead of a murderous or hell-bent on world domination, it almost makes you look like an ordinary woman. Almost. What do you mean, so? So what? How do I feel? About all of that, you mean? Huh. Well, I guess if I'm being honest, I never expected that you would have feelings like that for... Me, at least. I figured our... <laughs> Look at me. You got me flustered. <laughs> I, I guess I just figured our relationship was purely professional. <laughs> Damn you for saying stuff like that. If... Well, I, 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 I mean... If you want it to be less professional, I, I, I mean, we, we, we could. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would, I would like that. I, I, I would like that a lot, actually. I, I've been, I've been feeling a, a similar way towards you. Only, only recently. But, you know, you could have done this on a day that wasn't one of the few days that I don't have to fight crime. <laughs> are you actually sorry, or are you just saying that? Don't worry about it. I mean, this isn't my first choice for a date, but... Well, I, I guess a part of me liked it. <laughs> oh, you don't want me to call this our first date? Then why not? Isn't that exactly what it was? How is it not? I mean, now you know what I look like outside of the costume. And I think that's about as intimate as our first date can get. You had me all tied down. <laughs> fine, fine, but if you really want a do-over, you are going to have to do things the right way. So what do you say? How badly do you want me? <laughs> Then, I guess, it's settled. Um, I guess that also makes us, um, boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. And in that case, I, I think you need to get changed. For what, you say? For our date, of course. Yes, I want to go on one right now. I want to go on a date with my... My cute, little, adorable, obsessive new girlfriend. Now, go get changed. I'll still be here when you come back. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> 